In this tutorial, in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at two ways to reposition, scale, and rotate video clips in your project. When would you want to do that? Well, let me show you a few seconds that illustrate one kind of occasion when these edits might be helpful. Let's look at the two ways in which we can make these video clips scaled, rotated, or repositioned. The easy way to do it is simply to use your mouse in the monitor panel. All I need to do is highlight the clip and then click on it up in the monitor panel. I'll have the blue box around my video with the bounding borders on each corner and one on each edge. If I want to resize the image, all I need to do is drag and move from any corner or any side, and it will proportionally make the image larger or smaller. And so that gives me an opportunity to uh, modify that simply by using the left mouse button and holding on to my image. Another way in which you can um, uh, adjust it is you can take that same image and you can hold and drag drag anywhere inside it move it left right up or down you notice in the center of the image there's a circle with a crosshairs in the middle this is the uh, anchor point for the image and the default anchor point is in the dead center so if i move my mouse with the left button and drag outside a little bit i'll get an angled double-headed arrow I can begin to move it if I hold the left mouse button down and it will be image around that center anchor point. And so I can adjust it visually on the screen any way I want. If I want to move the anchor point, let's take it over here and say we want it to be in the, uh, let's put it on the water over here where we can see it clearly. I can move the anchor point and then I can still rotate the image around that as much as I want. And so that gives me another way in which I can change the rotation and how it's oriented around a different kind of anchor point. That's the first way. You simply uh, move the mouse onto the image in the monitor panel and make these adjustments. If you want to fine tune them, there's a, a better way to go. We're going to click on the FX with the pencil on the right side. And we find that we have two effects. Every video clip automatically has motion effects and opacity effects. And what we've been doing falls under the motion effects. I'm going to click the right arrow here in a moment and open up all the uh, subcategories of motion. But the quick way to simply undo this, if you want it to be back to normal, is to click the uh, reset button, the second one from the right. And when you do that, it will revert to its normal size, shape, orientation, and position. So I'm going to click on Motion, and here again we'll go back, and I could take my mouse again, even with this panel open, and do just what I did before. I can scale, I can move, and I can rotate. Now you notice as I do each of these that these numbers are changing. If I, if I want to change the position of the picture on the screen, Notice as I move, I have my X coordinates, my horizontal, and my Y, which is vertical. And those numbers move as I change uh, the location of the picture on the screen. I can also change it two other ways. I can simply take and drag over the horizontal or over the vertical with the mouse. It disappears, but the numbers keep moving. Uh, left makes it lower and right makes the number higher, either X or Y value. Or I can simply double click on there and type in a number. And let's say I want the position to be uh, 800 and press enter. And it automatically will move it to, the, to center on that location. So that's how I can adjust position two different ways. I have the same option with the scale. Notice as I scale, my slider moves to the left, 
and my numbers move over here. If I want to scale this to 50%, I can just type in 50, press the Enter key, and now it's 50% scale. This is nice if you want several things to have the exact scale. Now the default is what's called uniform scale. What this does is it keeps the proportions together. If I don't want to do that, I can uncheck this box. Notice that activates height and width separately. Now I can scale the width down independent of the height. Now this may deform my image, but in certain cases if that's what I want, that's what this allows me to do. And so I can go back to uniform scale. The safest thing to do after doing that would be simply to reset it again, and then I can begin to modify it any way I want. We can also do the rotation as we did on our monitor panel by using the mouse. And if I want to make it a little bit more uh, precise, I can use the slider here, and you see the numbers change. Or I can actually type in the degrees. Let's do 45 and press enter and now I have a 45 degree scale. The other option I have when I'm in the scale is I can do a 90 degree at a time. I can rotate left 90 each time or right 90 each time. We looked a moment ago at how we can change the anchor point. We'll make this smaller again. The anchor point default again is in the center. I can move it with the mouse but I can also move it with the X and Y coordinates over here. So if I, you see I'm moving it left here on the X value as I simply drag over. Again I could type a number in here. Uh, let's do 600 and press enter. And then I can also do the anchor point on the Y scale wherever I want the anchor point to be. And we can also adjust our anti-flicker filter. But these are the ways in which we can reposition, scale, and rotate any video clip that we have inside of Premiere Elements 2018.